Here's behind the scenes. Uh, Bernie Sanders was talking one on one to uh, a, a woman, uh, Paula Swear- Swearingen. She's a uh, resident of Beckley, West Virginia. I think it's amazing that you're in Vermont and you care more about West Virginia than everyone else talks about And I would like to sit down and maybe even talk to you at some point and see if we can work together and do something for West Virginia because when the coal industry's gone, we're not going to have anything left burning and who's going to clean up the mess? They have not, this, the streamline protection rule, the only water protection we have, they just got rid of it, and it never was enforced anyway. It was like a water point to the coal industry. Jim Justice, the biggest polluting coal bear in West Virginia, is now my Democratic governor. He's mining three miles from my house. I've watched my children, ch- ch- my neighbor's children in Kansas. I buried my daddy at 54 years old. I've watched my family suffocate. I've buried so many family members to this industry. It feels like everything's all this amazing grace. I have cried, I have cried, I screamed. You need help? I don't want to overpromise you. Wow. Um, she started that by saying that um, he's from Vermont and he cares more about West Virginia than anybody around here. And she's talking about how the... Uh, West Virginia government basically completely dominated by uh, coal interests, and it's uh, literally killing um, her family. And then he just totally mansplained her. It's disgusting. What What was interesting that that Bernie, the first thing he says, like I don't want to overpromise. Like I mean, and it, was really genuine empathy. Yeah. I mean, I know we don't like to sort of personalize these things, but that was striking. Yeah. Hey everybody, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad guy. Believe me. It's true. It is true. And you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true.